Margaret didn't have to audition for her DQ role. Here's why Margaret Robbie didn't have to audition for her biggest role at the time, Harley Quinn in 2016's Suicide Squad, and that meant her career had stepped up. The last decade or so of DQU movies has been tumultuous, to say the least, so much so that we all kind of shrugged and accepted the fact that we got a Suicide Squad reboot just five years after the last one. The first Suicide Squad, 2016, is notable for being an Oscar-winning movie where being 100% serious, look it up, and for featuring Margot Robbie's debut as fan-favorite character Harley Quinn. The DCU has had big ups and downs, and watching the DC movies in order is a wild ride which could potentially get even wilder now that James Gunn is steering the ship. One of the only positive things you can say about David Ayer's Suicide Squad is that it introduces one of the best DC characters to modern live-action blockbusters, and that she was played so brilliantly by Barbie Sari, Margot Robbie. The squad themselves is populated by criminals and supervillains, but the main DC villain of the movie is Para Delevingne's June Moon, otherwise known as Enchantress. Will Smith plays Hitman Deadshot, and he and Robbie had starred together in crime thriller Focus in 2015. Robbie and Smith's chemistry was so good that she didn't even have to audition for Harley Quinn. I actually got offered this one, I didn't audition, which is a real step up as an actor when you can get offered things, Robbie told MTV News at the time. Robbie has since started her own production company, which means she has gone one step further and is creating roles for herself such as Barbie. The directors already knew that Robbie and Focus co-star Smith would knock it out of the park together as Harley and Deadshot. So, we didn't have to do chemistry reads or anything like that. And then I already knew vaguely knew Jared Leto, who's playing the joke.